What's going on, guys? How's your Monday? Hope everyone's doing all right. We're gonna apply to some more jobs this morning. If you're interested in supporting the channel, there are some links in the description. I'll be using my resume and manually making every cover letter we apply to today. If you want my resume, link for that's in the description. It supports the channel. So let's start off here right away. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. Galeron, what's up, man? How's your Monday? Let's hit up. Uh, so I know I always say don't don't type in Junior Rodrigo. What's up, man? Yo yo, Basan, what's up? Let's type in uh, web developer. So we have a Junior web dev. I'm not interested in Junior. Full time. This is all Salt Lake City right now. I think this is really low. Let's do mid level. What's up, Fix? In court right now? You should probably not get it. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope that you're in court winning money, not going to jail. Missouri. Full stack. I don't know. Let's just type in. A, can I do Leaco videos? I don't know what those are. You've had near instant responses? Yeah, it's all right. Full stack JavaScript developer. All right, let's see what they want. So you can't apply through this website. You have to use apply on company site. So they want JavaScript quirks. All right, let's apply. Code that mic. What's up, man? How you guys doing? How's your Monday? What gets you up in the morning? Finally able to catch a live session. Yeah, I haven't been doing live sessions. I've been working on some videos, making some other things. All right, so let's apply. We have to create an account. Ugh. All right. I'm now using, since they found the other stream. Okay, so all right, you know what? We're just gonna skip this. I don't even wanna do this. That's way too much effort. Make an account to apply to the job. No, can we just use quick apply, please? Thank you. 45 to 120. So this is going to indicate that they are going to accept all levels here. One click art. Yeah, one click applies. Apply now. Here we go. Here's our one click apply. All right, so let's figure out what they want. How's the music, by the way? Kieran, what's up, man? A solar company? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's like... I imagine that company was gonna ask me to type out my experience. Like, please list your entire experience. Like, it's on my resume. No, I'm not gonna do that. Pass. I mean, I would if I really wanted it, but. So here we go. Um, this could either be a startup or a really small company. Uh, look, right? This is not even, this is not even capitalized right here. So. Hey, uh, can one of you guys post this in the Discord? Just tag everyone. Appreciate that. So be a leader, innovate, be preact, proactive, agile dev. All right, so we'll make sure to mention that. Assertive, respectful communication. All right. Node, JS, Angular, React. So they just want you to be experienced with modern libraries. Eh, jQuery. <laughs> Bachelor's preferred. See, professional one year. So they definitely are open to juniors because if it says professional one year preferred, you can just ignore that entirely, which basically means no experience required. Let's go ahead and click apply. Resume. What's the Discord link? It's in the description down below. There should be a should be a link down there. So let's add a cover letter. We'll manually type it out. It's kind of a weird. Let's see if we can let's see. Complete XRM is looking for a talented. All right, let's maybe look up complete XRM. So it's a startup, right? I type in complete XRM. If you ever see a crunch base link, that means it's a startup 100%. So if we go here, we can see it's funding and stuff. That which, which funding goals? All right, anyway, so we know it's a startup, so it's a smaller company. I'll make sure to mention that we like working in small paced companies, or small companies, fast paced startup environments. 
working at Complete XRM. All right, so here's a glass door review. Let's take a little look. Salaries. 37, finance, computer programmer, 50 to 55K. So I'm going to say the majority of them are junior, probably, but they don't care because it's a, what's my GitHub? You're not going to find anything on there. All the stuff I've done is NDA. They all made me made private GitHub accounts for the job, but it's just my name. All right, so... Uh, so I'm a full stack developer by trade and enjoy keeping, mm, let's see, stay. I'm a full stack developer by trade and teach code. Well, I don't want to mention that. It's a startup, right? So they want 200% of your time. Should you apply to internships? Apply to everything. Don't even limit yourself to internships. Apply to regular jobs. You'd be surprised what you can get. I'm a full stack developer by trade and I enjoy working in fast paced, smaller companies such as Complete XRM. I was one of the first uh, employees. I've got some good little side. Yeah, I got some good little side projects in there, just like some code tests and stuff. Not not too much. Um, so we're gonna mention that I've actually worked at a startup here, right? So I was one of the first employees at a successful startup. Don't put startup that ran out of money or anything like that, obviously. And uh, that had. At a, well, okay, all right, this is what we'll do. This is this is what really gets the investors going right here. I was one of the first employees at a startup that had a successful exit. So if you guys don't know what an exit is, that's when the startup is bought out or basically the investors get all their money back and then some. It's when everyone makes money, you know? I should still have stuff in GitHub. That's my portfolio. You'd like to see my code? Yeah, I mean, I, I have code on there, but... I can't put stuff that's NDA. I can give them snippets, and I mentioned that in my cover letters. So I'll send them snippets by request, but legally I'm not allowed to put that code on my GitHub. And I'm busy doing other stuff besides, you know, making personal projects. I got to make videos, edit videos, do all this stuff. Uh, that has successful exit. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let me. Uh, I'm just going to paste this again, right? I can't really see the description very well. We have additional apps written. Okay, so high energy, love to succeed. Oh, company values, right? So we're always talking about these values down here. Purpose, passion, innovation, progress, balance. Okay, that's this is kind of a lot, right? Um, but we'll make sure to mention these. So let's come over here to our cover letter that has successful exit. I believe my technical... Skills are almost an exact match. Material UI? Material UI is, uh, I think, you can use it with React or Angular right now, but there's Material uh, material Design Bootstrap. That's a good one you can look into. Material Design Light. That's a good one you can look into. Are almost an exact match. Let's see. Um, um. Teamwork, what's up, man? Why don't you keep your own cover letter template and then edit it per job instead of manually typing each one? I have like three templates that I use, but for you guys that don't know how to make cover letters, I'll just make them from scratch. Actually, I already have a whole bunch of templates. I sell them, they support the channel. So, um, but I make them from scratch for you guys. We my technical skills are almost an exact match. Let's see. I believe align with your values and would be beneficial asset to your company. You can put I think, I believe, whatever you want. So maybe let's talk about our history a little bit. We'll talk about what we used at that startup that I worked at. 
at that, mm, let's see. In that roll, I used Ruby on Rails and React JS. Because we're making sure we mention it. Um, Thanks, Zephyrus. Gotcha, fam. Joshua, what's up, man? How you doing? I believe I align with your values and mission. believe I would be a beneficial asset to your company. What else? We used agile methodologies. Planning and productivity. Working on some PHP. Nice, dude. By the, by the way, if you're lurking, I appreciate your time. Thanks for spending your Monday, a little bit of your Monday with me. Hopefully, you can learn something here. If you do, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate it. I miss a T. We use agile methodologies for planning and productivity. I believe I align with your values and mission, and, uh, and would be a great fit. Be a beneficial asset to your company. Uh, I'll put organization. Yeah, my fingers are kind of cold, so I'm having like trouble typing. Also, I'm doing it on stream, right? So I could sit here for and like do it a lot longer, but we're trying to get through applications, you know? Look forward to hearing back. Almost typed my actual name. I fixed it because you said it, Adam. I saw that little comment. <laughs> I don't need high. I'm a full stack developer by trade, blah, blah, blah. All right, whatever. We don't want to spend too much time. Let's just get them, get them done. Are you in Salt Lake City? So, no remote, probably. What's the highest level of education you completed? B -b 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 bachelors. How uh, many years of professional experience? Yeah, I can work here. Yeah, we can do a background check. Yeah, sure. So, you guys want to know how auto HR works? Indeed specifically uses like auto filter HR because I've posted a job application on Indeed before. These employer questions right here, if you don't put like on their end, they've set up specific answers that they want. So probably the bare minimum here is they put one year. And if the, if the person doesn't put one year, their application gets filtered into the unfiltered section, which doesn't forward the HR manager an email. So th this is how the employer questions work. It's like an auto filter. Okay. So if you look at the requirements at the bottom and then you put something different in the employer questions, you're going to get filtered. If you have, if you don't have one year experience, and I'm just telling you, you're going to get filtered, right? It's up to you how flexible your morals are, but I, I would apply anyways. Well, you can interpret that, whatever that means, you know? All right, done. I don't care. I can't get what you can. You're right. You're right. All right, so we applied there. Let's uh, hit up the next one. 
Oh, we can work at the furniture store. RC Willies. All right. Let's 50 to 80. Let's take a look see. Let's take a little look see here. Associate's degree or equivalent experience. So I would interpret an associate's degree like the same as six months actual experience. So apply. Solid understanding. So this is a front end position. It looks like JSON. Why didn't they include Ajax in there? Experience with responsive design. Two years experience. Yeah, whatever. Ignore. Um, detail oriented self starter. Knowledge of basically Linux and Mac. Oh, FTP, HTTP, yeah, whatever. Experience with jQuery, Java, Spring MVC, SAS. So this is like a Java job or partially social media and third party API. So you're probably going to be using OAuth here. Does the HR see your responses to those employer questions? Uh, Brad W, you are entirely correct, which is what I suggest you to do, right? Um, I'm sorry that it seems that way. You're not lying on your application. You just want to get your application to the cover letter, right? Talk about it then. It's stupid, right? HR people make these little requirements. They don't know. They don't like the CTO and the HR lady have two differing requirements. If you can sit down with a CTO and convince that CTO, look, give me a shot. And the HR lady is like, well, you said this, so I'm just going to put that as a requirement. If they don't match, bye. Like, Furniture out here expecting the most, yeah. Bachelor's degree is a plus, not required. Are you actually looking for work? Nah. I'm just showing you guys how I do it. How I look at the requirements and how I tailor the cover letter to match. So we'll click apply. Oh, company site. Apply in person? What? Oh, what is this? Have you, okay, have you previously applied to work at X? Always put no, even if you have. You, you just have to understand that these are filter questions for HR, okay? How bad do you want the job? You're from Ogden, you applied to this RC Village job on Saturday? Hours available, salary desired. So we know it's between 50 and 80, let's just put 65,000. Uh, before you begin, I don't want to make a login with your site. I want quick apply. Web application junior React and junior web application React engineer. Thirty-five to forty-eight. Oof, they are really dropping those salaries down. Yeah, fixed protocol. You got it. Don't let the website filter you out. <laughs> you get that job, bam. Right, like even, even Arnold Schwarzenegger would tell you, right? Uh, don't break the law, but break the rules, <laughs> and that's my philosophy. I'm okay with breaking rules, but not the law. No one ever gets to the top by following the rules, or they get, you know. I mean, if you do, you're just gonna get in line like everyone else. Do you want to get in line, or do you want to get a job? Full stack developer PHP. Senior level. All right, obviously, like, I couldn't apply to this because, I mean, I could, but I wouldn't apply to this just because they're going to hit me with a code test. I'm going to be like, ah, nah, pass. But I think 90 to 120. Do you do the same thing when applying for jobs in other countries? I don't really apply to jobs in other countries. Cyber coders, this is a recruiting agency. Full stack PHP. Ramsco. All right, let's apply here. Apply now. All right, let's actually go to the job. Oh, we can see it over here. Must have a strong understanding. Okay, yeah, whatever. Do not, if you do not have experience, do not apply, whatever. I'd apply anyways, and then learn PHP while you wait for their feedback, wait for them to get back. Like, I've done that, right? Like, I've applied to a job and not known a certain skill set and I've just learned it while I wait for them to get back to me. And then I got that job, AKA Ruby on Rails. <laughs> it said Ruby on Rails required. And I was like, all right, 
let me apply anyways and start learning Ruby. But then I went to the interview. They knew that I didn't know it, but they liked everything else I had going for me. Disgust me with your wealth. Oh, I'm so... I'm YouTube rich now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, communication, self-starter, blah, blah, blah. All this says the same stuff. Industry standards, weekly and monthly reporting on status of projects. This might be a little bit of a dev shop. So, who are you? Make sure to mention these things. So, we'll apply this. Apply to this. What? This is terrible. Look, you know what? Here we go. This is this is real web dev. This is an iframe? Are you kidding me? Huh? What is this? What is this? Here we go. This is called using the inspector to make adjustments because I can't see the freaking description. <laughs> there we go. All right, you know what? that resume add cover letter let's see again I'll just be like full stack developer by trade specifically I've been focusing on PHP, right? Even, I, even though I haven't, right? Um, come on. All right, this is what we're doing. We're gonna be doing it here because I can't. And we got notepad. We're doing it. We're doing a notepad plus plus. <sighs> All right. So, hello, Ramsco. All right, let's see what else we want. Um, I've What do you do if you actually get the jobs you're applying for? I don't ever get the jobs I'm applying for. I just do the interviews and record the interviews and then post them to show you how to do an interview. I don't actually want them. If I, I don't know. I'd want to be the boss, okay? <laughs> I don't want to be told what to do. I have experience with experience. Get at me. <laughs> All right, so we're just doing Magento. If you don't know Magento, just Google it. It's like WordPress and WordPress. I enjoy working in a fast paced environment. You guys read this. You guys can't even read this. Ooh. Maybe I'll just put it underneath. Here. There we go. Let's see.
into management into a tech company? Is it worth it for the for the money? Do you like management? I like working with people, so if I had to take a job, I'd like more sort of a management role, a product management, some something in design or marketing these days. Like, yeah, I can code. I've done the code, but now I know how to help developers get what they need. As a web developer, I'm constantly working on my craft, staying up to date with the latest technologies and industry standards, right? So there's a keyword we're matching industry standards right here. Multiple platforms. Have an eye for design, like Jarvis. Yeah, I mean, once you don't code for so long, you either, that's like, there's two branches, right? You go down the senior tech path or you go down the people path, right? And I prefer to go down the people path, but I'm sure as hell not gonna be a middle manager. I'm not gonna have a manager above me that has a manager and then a manager below me and then I'm managing managers. No, 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 not doing that. Right, M and I for design, and let's see, let's see. Have an I for design, and let's see. How do we? We want to make a mention here of improving quality of the site and overall UX. I have an I for design, and in enhancement of the. Have a look at junior rules after, please. Ryoma GG. I don't look at junior roles because junior roles and other roles are the same to me. I don't, when I had no experience, I didn't only apply to junior roles, right? Take that mindset, throw junior roles out the window, apply for everything. Unless it's like 12 years experience, then you're probably, when you apply, you're going to get wrecked, but apply. I have an eye for design, finding ways, enhancement. Constantly finding ways to enhance the user experience. What else? What else? What else? Microsoft Office. Um, I believe I'm almost an exact technical match to your stack and experience requirements. I believe I would be great addition to the team and look forward to hearing back all right okay plus plus that's right i'm a true whistleblower i don't know about all that i just want people to get jobs i don't want people look look i was like 300 dollars like four days away from being homeless okay and when you want that job, when you want to pay that rent, you do what it takes, right? I'm not going to let some HR lady, well, I'm sorry, you don't have, I don't care. Get out of my way, HR lady. I want to talk to the CTO. Look, I want a job. I need a job. I'll do whatever you tell me to do. I'll learn whatever you tell me to learn. I'm getting this job. Like, when the need is there, when the will is there, you find a way. I'm not going to let someone tell me no, unless it's the CTO saying no. And even then, I'm going to be like, well, let's work something out. And I would suggest you guys do the same. Are you guys pumped? That made me pumped. I remember getting told no hundreds of times. No, 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 or ignored. That whiteboard back there. I wrote down every single, t every single place I applied to. And I kept track of the ones that didn't respond and the ones that said no and the ones that took me to the next section. And there were like, you know... I applied over 200, like more than half said nothing. A bunch of them said no right away. And a bunch of them took me to like stage four of the interview, really playing with my heartstrings, right? When you start investing into these jobs, you're like, oh man, this is cool. I'm at like stage four. Yeah, I should be getting an offer here soon. And then they're sorry, we've moved on with another candidate. And they just say like, and then, you, and then what, right? It's hard not to feel down. That's why you don't emotionally invest into these things. 
I don't let anyone tell me no. Tell me it's impossible, and I'll show you it can be done. Then I'm the first one to do it. And that's what you guys should do. Don't let don't let HR get in your way, right? <laughs> so supply to this job. How many years experience? All right, so how many do they want? I'm just gonna put three. Three, three. Three, three, three. So again, with the auto filters here. Three. Do you have a driver's license? So you might be doing some traveling, that's why they're asking. Yeah, background check, yeah, that's whatever, that's fine. All right, let's look for another one. We'll do this for another 40 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna bounce. So hopefully you guys are getting some of that, some out of this. If you guys are enjoying the stream, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help my videos do good. We're actually over halfway to 34,000, which is just crazy to me. My girlfriend wrote that, I don't know, the other day, 32426. Am I legit applying or just baiting? I'm actually using an alias, so we would say great bait, mate. Ooh, got that drip. <laughs> Blind company site. A bonus for knowledge of CopyScript or a solid sense for user interface. Strong desire to learn, right? So unit testing. If you've never done TDD, doesn't matter. Strong desire to learn. So mention that instead. Jose Alejandro Salazar Macarn. Ma Ma Damn it! It's so close. Hola. <laughs> Back background check. Dexter Burgundy. I'm using an alias now, right? They found the stream last time, so I'm using an alias. Whatever. It's for you guys. Someone's like, you're going to get blacklisted. And I was like, all right, alias it is. I actually, uh, I, I made a little avatar of Ron Burgundy and Dexter Morgan combined. PHP dev now. We don't want any of this. What do you guys want to see? Reactive? Senior Java dev, all right, pass. These are expensive. Where's all like the, the regular ones? Senior front end, senior blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to keep it relevant for you guys. Ooh, Western Governors University. So if you apply here, there's gonna be extensive background checks and probably a whole lot of interview steps, unless you know somebody, and which you don't, so it's probably gonna be like what I just said. So front end software engineer, let's look at this. Java, <laughs> No, next. Front end developer at the drip. E C R M E E commerce C R M designed for digital the world's first. I'm pretty sure Shopify is kinda like a E C R M. Do you have a criminal history? They might ask that. They might ask to see your like tax returns even, you know? You have no working experience, should you say you have some experience? Just put four years. Boom, done. Like, they should be paying me referral fees, Jeffrey Strong. You are correct, right? I'm pointing an audience of people showing you guys how to hit these jobs. How to get good talent. Do you want good talent and hard workers, or do you want some guy that's being told exactly what to do, and when he's not told exactly what to do, he's not going to do anything? There are so many people out there that take zero initiative, right? If you guys are out there learning on your own, put in the hours, put in the work, put in the sweat, blood, tears, you guys are gonna do the job when you're at work. Even if you get stuck, you're gonna try to figure it out. You might feel bad about it. You might have that, you know, imposter syndrome, but you're gonna do the work. Whereas some other guy is just gonna sit there and be like, well, I don't know what to do. And then, you know, do you want one of those people or do you want one of these people in the chat? Because I know you guys are hard workers. I've worked with those people. What if you do have a criminal history? It doesn't matter. Just be upfront about it.
Day-to-day -day responsibilities. Deploy to your production on first week. I guess that's good. That's their way of saying you matter. <laughs> Legacy. Gorgeous production. What would I recommend a Unity game dev starting off? Your senior, you got a career center. We do Unity React and all that. Uh, you know, make a 2D game first. Experience with one of the more Redux or another functional language. What? Interesting in learning how to design architectures at scale. So this would be cool if you're interested in becoming a front end or a full stack developer. So they're basically saying right here. If you're very good at coding, are you still a junior? Define good at coding. What does that even mean? Genuine interest and ability to learn. All right, so this is you guys. This is the chat. Detail-oriented isn't soundbite for you. It's one of your genuine qualities. You never say, that's not my job. Ooh. So this is what I'm all about, right? I'll do whatever it takes. You tell me what to do. Oh, that wasn't part of the job description. Nah, nah, you never want to say that. And you're like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll wear whatever hat you give me. You work well with others. So this, this job is basically saying, if you want to learn, we'll give you a shot. Good at Googling. Yeah, that's pretty markety. Redux is not like a specific language. It's JavaScript, right? Why don't they just put functional, whatever. Apply on company site. Let's take a look at this. Uh, all right. They're gonna make me put my phone number. I don't wanna put my phone number. They're gonna make me put your LinkedIn. Bruh. We have more. Flexible schedule, that's cool. I don't wanna put my phone number because I'm streaming. Uh. All right, I'll move this off to the side and I'll write the cover letter and then I'll apply. Just put a put a burner cell on there. <laughs> yeah. How long did I practice programming until you started? I started applying before I even finished the code bootcamp. The code bootcamp that I went to was three months long, but it was actually two months long because the last month was personal projects, which was, it consisted of the teachers kind of just, if you have any questions, let me know. And so right after they were like, all right, the next month's up to you guys. I was like, all right, time to apply to jobs. I can learn this at a job. Use a Google voice number. You, you guys are still going to be creeps. This kind of sounds like Take a Joke by Drake. Tell me, that, tell me this doesn't sound kind of like Drake. I'm expecting Drake. But it's not. Do you du just do front end? I, I do full stack, but we're looking at React because I know most people here are front end. I don't specifically like full stack. Because I like design, marketing, like those sorts of aspects. All right, let's just write this up. By the way, all you lurkers out there, drop a question. I'll try to, I try to get to everyone. I never want to be that person that says, or, or you know, you just watch. Does your cover letter match your experience? Uh, I don't, it depends. Depends on how the job application is. Sometimes I talk about my experience, sometimes I don't. In this position, I'm going to be talking about, I'll learn Elm and other functional languages. Do a Mern stack? It doesn't matter. It's roughly the same. It, it all depends on the job description. How can you apply for companies where they have a lot of projects instead of working every single day on the same project? So you're looking at a dev shop. 
if I get a job, do most employers give you a laptop? Yeah, they give you a laptop. It's a pretty, pretty standard for them to give you a laptop. Unless you're a freelancer, then that's on you. Is you becoming more relevant? It's becoming more relevant, but it's not. React's, React is still the winner right now, according to Google Trends, but it's, it's coming. All right. I'm a full stack developer, right? I always talk about full stack developer first because I want them to know I have other skills besides front end, but I'm passionate about front end. So I'm a full stack developer by trade. This is my usually introductory sentence. We could put something else, but I'm a full stack developer by trade, but I'm passionate. Well, let's see. But lately, I've been focusing on front end technologies. Uh, talk about I'm constantly learning, right? How much spyware would you expect on company hardware? No, they don't put spyware or anything like that on company hardware. They usually give you a blank Mac and you set it up however you want. I did see a company that makes micromanagement technology so you can watch your employer's computers and they wanted you to have that installed on your computer and I was like I'm not, I'm not gonna develop the software that micromanages me and then have it micromanage me pass you don't have a resume but is there a template you can follow not sure if game dev resumes are different than regular uh, resumes are resume man it's all about structure do you need to bring a laptop to an interview I would expect not. If you're going in person to an interview, don't bring a laptop. Just bring some resumes and cover letters to, you know, because this, when you go to the interview, you're going to be like, who am I working with? Can I go meet those people that I'm working with? And then you hand those people your resume. Be like, oh, here you go. If you ever want to check out my skills, it was nice meeting you. I look forward to working with you. Um, if you go to an interview, be prepared to either get a take-home test. Yeah, we'll send you an email with a test after you leave, or you'll be doing whiteboarding tests. All right, what if you're not a Mac user? Uh, sometimes they let you choose, sometimes they don't. Thanks for the two, by the way, appreciate you. Do they know I make YouTube videos? Well, we're using an alias right now, so. <laughs> They're not, like I'm putting my actual phone number on there, but how could they find me then? Bring your whiteboard to the interview, just like that size is perfect. Just, if you can't fit it through double doors, that's the right size. I'm constantly learning and honing my craft. Hoeing my craft. <laughs> oh, I need to get a new keyboard, my dudes. Uh, let's see. What was the last thing I said? Yeah, you're going to be doing a whiteboarding test, most likely, if you're going to interviews. Sometimes it's about culture fit. Dude. MC Master's always here. Zach, you're always here. Appreciate you. Enjoy the mod. McMaster, enjoy the mod. Who else always here? Mayink always here. Enjoy the mod. Who else always here? Oh, Junior, what's up, dude? Enjoy the mod. Hold that craft. Get on the street corner. Sell that web dev. Like that dude in Silicon Valley. What's my stack? My stack is whatever the job wants me to learn. Define culture fit. Right, show me a culture and I'll de define it. I'm going to tell you this. If the job says it has a safe space, I don't apply. Hammer out mods, that's right. What's the best resource to learn web dev? Free code camp, pretty good. Start there. Maybe Team Treehouse, Udemy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me finish typing this out and then I'll look at chat for a sec. Uh, let's see. So I'll just be upfront and honest, right? Uh, I have some personal experience with TDD, but I've been looking for an opportunity 
to learn it in a professional capacity. Right. Uh, so since we're talking about learning, right? Um, my developer, my well, let's see. My motto as a developer is is this. Well, it's kind of pretentious. Is that if I'm the smartest person in the room, I'm in the wrong room. Best place to learn Java? Oh, I think there's a couple books. You can check my website. Go to the code books. What do I think of Pluralsight? Yeah, it's pretty good. I think they have a 10 day trial you could test out if you want. Pluralsight tends to lean more towards specific niches, right? So they have like a semantic HTML5 course or, you know, something really niche. It's not, it's not like a Udemy. It's like a course on a specific thing to do one specific thing, you know? A little bit too much, cut it out. No, it's not. Every time I put that in there, the HR lady's like, wow, that's great. I, I really dig that you want to learn. Genuine interest, ability to learn. Never say no, that's not my job. Wearing many hats has always been a part of my responsibilities. And I enjoy adapting and learning what's required of me. All right, so this is a little bit too mushy, soft skill-ish. We'll talk about some actual skills down here below. As for the technical, so let me let me let me reason this. You get replays from previous live? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think some people watch these. Ryan, I don't know if you're here. Thanks for the sub. Let's see. As for the technical stack, I have experience with well okay so we'll mention our years experience right i have three years if you have like 13 years don't put that right but if you're like under senior level eh, you can put years but if you're over senior level they're gonna think you want too much money so just put experience what about treehouse is it strictly for beginners no 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 man you have some pretty advanced stuff on there i have three years experience well let's not put that Let's talk about CopyScript instead. I've worked with script on my own, but not not with a production app. I'm not gonna apply to a job in Indonesia. Uh, let's see. Oh, just to give you a heads up, we use Twitter, Flight, Browser 5, Node.js, NPM, Mocha.js, D3, Ruby on Rails, Sketch. All right, so I've used D3, Ruby on Rails, and Sketch. Uh, more balsamic, but Sketch. What cover letter is that? Why are you writing a cover letter in Notepad? Because not all of them have the quick apply. So I'm writing it here, and then I'll copy and paste this over. And what happens if you accidentally start typing your cover letter and hit Submit? Uh, this is Notepad++, so. So much better than Notepad. It doesn't even make me save the file before I open a new one, which is the best. That little prompt, it's like, do you want to save this first? Oh, man. Neat. Not with a production app. Uh, work with Ruby on Rails in conjunction with D3. Jeez. 
right? Lately, I've been working with converting sketch mockups into functional and responsive web apps. All right, so we make the mention of sketch here because they're talking about sketch down here. Steve, you're right, right? You guys are so focused on framework. You guys want to be language agnostic, framework agnostic. Learn what works. Learn what the job wants you to learn. And if you find some interest doing something else, go learn that. Don't be so stuck on the language. Right? A few years from now, we could all be doing something else. We might be using CoffeeScript. I mean, you know, probably not, right? But, like, you guys get it? Learn what they want you to learn. Don't be stuck on something. Otherwise, you're going to end up being that senior developer who's like, I think we should use this because I've always done it this way. Oh, one of those guys. One of those guys that says, oh, I've always done it this way, so we have to do it this way. Okay, let me just hit you with that logical fallacy, right? Sunk cost. Well, I've always done it, so, you know, this is the way we do it. No, no, no. That's not how this works, dude. Don't let those people hold you back. I think this is pretty good. I'll work well. Let's see. Talk about I'm a self starter and I work well alone and on a team. I believe in, right? So this is the part where we go to drip.com, drip careers, and we look up there. Values. What are their values? What are the values? What are the values? I hope they have shirts that says I got that drip. Because <laughs> if they don't, they're missing out on a huge marketing waste. Manifesto. All right, here we go. Here's the manifesto. This is what they're about. Spelling error. All right, so th their manifesto is talking about customers a lot and how they really value their customers. So we will talk about how we've worked on client projects and we value what the clients, you know, want. All right, so let's go back to the job, All right? I believe in earning a customer's I work directly with customers and believe in earning a customer's loyalty and providing honest and fair value. All right? Maybe I've all I've also worked directly with customers and believe in earning customers' loyalty and providing honest and fair value. Boom, done. We value the clients, every company ever, right? But that's in their manifesto, right? So we put emphasis on that here. So I think this is it, right? Um, I excited working in a fast paced 
environment and enjoy working. I'm excited when working in a fast-paced environment and work well in smaller startup size companies. Look forward to hearing back Dexter Burgundy. Hey Josh, huge fan, you're awesome. Malfunctions, you're awesome, man. Just trying to help. Your senior level in investment banking is on point. <laughs> How'd I learn all this? I got rejected a lot, right? Some would say I failed a lot. So it just looks like I've been doing this a while. All right, so let me come over here. I'm applying over there yeah, on the side. All right, let's paste this in there. It's making me pick a school. All right. I think that's dumb when they require you to have a school, but they don't actually require a degree or even make a mention of it, but whatever. Are you addressing the letter to CEO or HR? You don't have to address the letter. You can think of it as a blurb rather than a letter. I don't know why it's called cover letter. You could just think of it as a blurb. Don't be like, hello, hiring manager. I've actually looked up your name on LinkedIn, so I know your exact name. So hello, Diane Fall, like, you know, whatever. making me pick a degree. This is dumb. For a startup, they don't seem very progressive. Start date. I don't remember the start date of my degree. This is dumb that they're asking the start date, number one, because it gives away your age. Look forward. Whatever. Got you. I didn't submit yet. Don't worry about it. I'm over here. LinkedIn profile. I don't have a LinkedIn profile. It's just real life. All right. Let's make an account. Join now. This is, this is dumb. Most companies don't require all this. your zip code what's up dude Jeez. can we skip this please oh my goodness all right I work at Google What's up, AMA? Shout out to Sh South Jordan. What's up, dude? That's where I used to live. <laughs> All right, hold on. We got to fix this. This is so dumb.
All right, you know what? I think I think we've done enough on this drip, guys. We're just gonna move on from drip because we're gonna be here all day long, just trying to set up to apply to a job. And you guys that actually want it can do it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> all right, let's look for another one. We got we got we got time for like one more. I think it's so dumb how you could make a LinkedIn profile and just claim that you work anywhere you want and no one verifies that. Might as well take advantage. Team. No, pass. Pair programming. That's cool. So they just put their values right up front. Six to eight years of software experience required. All right, pass. PHP dev. So this is actually a uh, dev shop, as they'd say. You just turned 30? Bong bong ding dong. What's up, dude? You got this, man. Don't let these requirements intimidate you. Do I ever apply to recruiter consultant jobs like Robert Happy? I mean, if you watch my last few videos, two of those are recruiter videos. UI software engineer, I don't know what this means, but. Desired, right? Not required, desired. Don't confuse desired for required. Alias is certainly suspicious. Who cares? Who cares, right? Serbia offices. What? Got blockchain. Ooh, we could talk about that. Why am, why am I using an alias? Because if I ever actually need to apply to a job, I don't want to be blacklisted. Not only that, but I don't want them to come find my, you know, YouTube channel. Add a cover letter. Let's talk about it again. Mainly, I don't apply to, with my real information because the last time I did that, last time I applied with my real information, the lady Googled me in the last stream and, and she, sent me a, she sent me an email like in two seconds and she was like, great, would you want to move to Florida? And then on stream, I was reading that email and I was like, I'd never move to Florida. And she heard that. She, she actually heard me say that on the stream because she Googled me. And then she sent me another angry email right after that saying, I heard your response, Josh. It's very unprofessional. And I was like, well, there's like 300 people here. So 300 people just learn how to apply to a job and you spend three minutes and got baited. Also, what about all the people like you that don't respond at all? And what about the time I get to the fifth, you know, step of that interview and you say no? That's a little bit unprofessional too, I think. So be mad. Anyways, I'm using an alias now. That's why. <laughs> so this is a UI software engineer. It's a startup, 75 people, 20 million in funding. Let's see. Mobile apps, React Native, UX Designer. Proficiency in React Native. I can't really apply to this because it's not on my It's not on my resume. I'd probably get ghosted. But be hungry. Relentless hunger to find the solution for really difficult problems. This is hilarious to me that they have remote colleagues but require you to come in office. So knowing that, I would negotiate before I accepted the job offer to have remote. I'd be like, look, you have a bunch of other people in the company that are remote. Can I work remote at least like four days a week, three days a week? I'll come in once a week, once every other week. Let me know. I even asked if I could record. No, 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 no. We're not talking about that, HR lead. We're talking about in the last stream. Like during the stream when I was applying to jobs, 
She found that stream because she Googled me. Like, she responded to the application I sent within, like, two seconds and sent me back. And then she Googled me and found that I was live streaming. So, she got mad. That's the problem, right? When I apply, they Google my name. And they hear that I want to be an entrepreneur. But, I mean... What music is this? Uh, some trap music. Uh, so I can't really talk about mobile apps experience because I haven't done that. Uh, like I'm not even, I don't even know where to start. But what I can talk about instead is that I want to, I want to learn. So we'll see. PDD experience. All right, look, let's see. So we'll keep this part. Um... As for the technical stack, all right, so we'll edit this part, all right? I've been looking for an opportunity to dive deeper into React Native. Would you ever be suspicious about applying for and then working for a startup? Go to crunchbase.com. Make sure that startup's got funding. Have I heard about Crystal Lang? I saw a coding phase. Or I saw Joe doing some videos on Crystal Lang. Looks kind of like blockchain. But since we're talking about blockchain here, we'll maybe mention that I've hosted a blockchain meetup and I still host that blockchain meetup. So... Let's edit this, right? I'm full stack developer by trade, but lately I've been, right? Uh, so we'll just remove that. And I'm passionate about blockchain. Right. This isn't a lie. I've actually hosted a bi-weekly blockchain cryptocurrency meetup. Lately, I've been working with converting sketch mockups into fully functional and responsive web apps. Yeah, they don't need to know that. It's kind of unrelated. It's a mobile job, right? Pass. Who do I prefer working for? Small companies, startup or established, as long as it's small. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna, like, as soon as a company hands me a badge with a number on it, I'm done. You are literally an employee number. <laughs> uh, I'm eager to take my React knowledge and convert it to React, oh, let's see. They use the word stretch abilities, right? Stretch, uh, let's say extend that ability and learn mm. into the mobile section right self started work alone work well alone and on a team i've also worked directly with customers so so instead of saying that remotely and have a history of working with remote colleagues If you have to pay to work at an internship or pay to work at any position, it's not a job. It's, I don't know what you're, it's a scam at that point. Entrepreneurial folks. All right. Have a happy attitude. Yeah, dude. Got to stay happy. Got to stay in that state of gratitude. Be thankful. That's how you stay happy. Let's see. Wait, you're supposed to submit cover letters? No, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know why I'm streaming. Honestly, you can just submit your resume and then just click submit and then you have like 99% chance. No, you have to submit cover letters. If you're not submitting cover letters, you might as well get in the back of the line, fam. <laughs> Start
startups don't give you badges because they're startups that takes money out of their investor funding. <laughs> What else we got here? What else we got here? No jerks, no egos. Open source community experience is a plus. All right, so this would be one of those. Like if I had open source experience I wanted to talk about here, I would go to my Stack Overflow, maybe contributions to talk about how I've contributed to something, some project, or tried to debug. Even if you haven't directly committed to an open source project, if you've tried to debug something for someone else that's working on an open source project, use that as an example. Be willing to drink from the fire hose. This is what they tell you in Code Bootcamp right here, right? Have a sense of advanced your desire to grow, stretch abilities, right? Uh, into the mobile. <sighs> we want to say brand area section. What's the word we're looking for here? Niche. They don't do cover letters and don't have an issue. If you're applying for any developer positions, cover letters, everything, because it's personality fit. And especially, this someone asked me this, right? What are my chances of getting a remote job? That depends on your cover letter. Depends on your cover letter because working remote is based on trust. If they can't trust you and get a sense of for who you are as a person, they're not gonna trust you. They're not gonna trust you to do the work. You misspelled forward. I actually fixed it on the drip, but yeah. Not a good advert for yourself to other companies. I'm a human. Hmm. I think this is good, right? Demonstra demonstrable experience in releasing mobile applications. While I haven't actually released a mobile app, web app type deal with React Native, I have released a game. So we can talk about that. Uh, right. As a side project, I've released a mobile game onto the app, onto the Android App Store. Called uh, right, I fill up that with C sharp. No, I'm not going to put singular company. You don't put singular company here because you want to show experience working in a startup. If I put, I'm excited to work in a fast paced, smaller startup company. Look, I've already had the experience working in the companies. I have experience, experience, experience. That's what matters. I have a history of doing this. I've worked at companies before. I know what it's like. So I leave it plural. How's the game dev going? I haven't done it yet. It feels bad, man. I think this is fine. Let's apply. Let's apply. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Done, done. Here we go. Continue. Hit me with those extra questions. We've, we, we have completed it. If I threw a little bit in there about React Fiber, yeah. I guess I could have done that. Dang it. Well, my dudes. I hope this has been helpful for you. Let me know if you got any questions before I head out. We'll hang out for a few more minutes here. If you're lurking and you appreciate the stream, if you learned something, let me know. I'm doing this for you guys. 
technically I'm jeopardizing the future to do this for you guys. Um, you know, but I've been here. I've done that. I'm more passionate about getting you guys the job. You guys are the hard workers. You guys are the ones putting in the time, thinking that you can't do it, but you can do it. Right? You just have to keep doing it. It's consistency. Nothing great happens at once. It's all about those little things. So if I if I get these, you know. If you're here and you like the stream, by the way, hit that thumbs up. Oh, I didn't do any push-ups. How many do I owe? I think I owe like four push-ups. Hold on. All right, so there's your push-ups. The real Dexter Burgundy wonder why he can't get an interview with anyone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't think that I'm really ruining my chances of getting a job because look at what kind of marketing I can do. So I'd be great for a marketing position. People in marketing have to think outside the box to grow and you know, product management, all that types of stuff. I know what to do. I know how to grab people's attention. At least I think I do. I'm not trying to be like gloating or anything, but like, have you got dumbbells? Now nah, I go to the gym. Yeah, it's just an alias. I actually created a Dexter Burgundy with one finger. So if you guys got any questions before I head out, feel free to drop it. If you're lurking, I appreciate your time. Hope you guys are having a great Monday. I am. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. Hang out for a few more minutes. we got self-taught python did a little project what do you think about your chance to get a job in south dakota greetings from germany sd is that what you mean the college doesn't offer software engineering should you go to computer science it's the same thing should you plan your web app ahead of time uh oh god here we go you guys want to see my you guys want to see ron burgundy mixed with dexter morgan here you go Here's Dexter Morgan. And then if we just, we mix in about 50-50 here. Now we got Ron Burgundy mixed with Dexter Morgan. It's weird. <laughs> Should you write cover letters for help desk job and sales job or just resume? No, it's still write cover letters, man. How bad do you want the job? Write the cover letter, show your personality. Right, you're, you're a human being, not a robot, at least not yet. Write that cover letter. If you can code, should you get a job or for your own company? I don't know, depends on what you wanna do. Do you have a plan? If I made a React Native chatting app, uploaded to Google Play Store, sending pictures, are you still a junior? I mean, I don't know. Define junior. Junior means different things to different companies. Some companies use, let's say, let's say you've been working at a, at a JavaScript job for two years, three years. Then you go to a job that's using PHP. You're probably going to be a junior level at that job. That's just how it is. You'll be able to ramp up faster and get that next step, get that next step in your career ladder, but you're probably going to be a junior, at least starting out. 
but they know that you'll be able to ramp up because you've been doing JavaScript so long. And it's different, but that's that's how you define different levels. You can call yourself whatever you want. You could have one year experience, call yourself senior level developer. No one actually cares. I think what I'll do while we're here is just I'm gonna I'm gonna upload my uh, LinkedIn picture here. So if someone asks for my LinkedIn, I'll hit them with that. Let's see. Let's do a clone. Come on. We just blur a little bit here. Linux. What about React Hook? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Done. Dexter Burgundy, at your service. <laughs> uh, that's funny stuff. Everyone's gonna be like, he looks so familiar, but I can't place it. All right, guys. I hope this was at least entertaining if you didn't learn something, but I'm gonna go lift some weights. It's chest day. You guys have a great Monday. I'll be back later today with a video. We'll premiere it. I'll be there in the chat. If you want to hang out and chat with me, I'll be there. So thanks for all the lurkers. Thanks for all the people contributing. I appreciate all you guys. So I'll see you later.